sports fans and football fans out there. Uh, today, I have a touchy subject to talk about, and that is the John Gruden situation, uh, as you probably know from reading the title of the video. Now, I debated whether to put anything up about it, um, because the media coverage of this on NFL Network and on YouTube and all over any kind of social media <clears throat> is extensive. And you probably know the situation well by now. Um, 10 to 12 years ago, or over the course of two years, 10 to 12 years ago, or something like that, when John Gruden was an employee of ESPN and he was an analyst, he sent um, several emails, um, I think, to Bruce Allen, who at the time was like a top executive with the Washington football team. And in these emails, he had very questionable language. I mean, he ref he he had racist language in there, language that could be construed as racist. Um, <clears throat> he, um, he he poked, not really poked fun, but just like, I, I, I don't really don't even know what the words are, but he disparaged um, uh, gay people. He said that um, women should not be officials on the field, so... He made sexist comments. And, of course, I'm going to come down on the side of this is inexcusable behavior from, really, it's inexcusable behavior from anybody in any position. And, unfortunately, we have too many people in this country who are like John Gruden. Um, thankfully, it seems like people who are in positions of power, as John Gruden was, get their comeuppance from these types of behaviors because they eventually come to light and, um, <clears throat> and they, are, they are disciplined, fired, whatever you want to say. Um, apparently, Gruden <coughs> resigned of his own volition Which um, I, I don't find it hard to believe that he would because as many people have pointed out, and if you've seen any of the coverage, you know that people have said this, how could he possibly face the people in that locker room, many of them black, and, um, and he also had one gay player, um, how could he face those, those guys in the locker room after these comments came out? So... I don't find it hard to believe that he resigned. Um, and the owner of the Raiders, Mark Davis, said that he he's confided in friends that he, he would have fired him if he hadn't resigned. But the best outcome, and it is true, the best outcome for everybody concerned was that uh, Gruden uh, resigned. Uh, the Raiders gave him like a 10-year, $100 million contract, and so now they will probably negotiate a settlement with him, but they won't have to pay nearly what his contract called for um, because he resigned. And um, that may even have been part of the negotiations for him to, to resign. So, but as I say, it's inexcusable behavior. Um, there was apparently 650,000 pages of emails that the league had, but all that they, all that was leaked and the, and the league says, the NFL says that they didn't leak the emails, uh, that Gruden, um, said these things in. But anyway, apparently the only emails that were leaked were the ones that dealt with Gruden and what he said. There were no other leaked emails because you would have to imagine that there's other people in in this that would be caught up in this net if all of those pages of emails were released 
to the public or to the media. So we'll see if anything like that happens going forward. But it is nice to see that somebody like Gruden is now out of his uh, position of power and um, has been, um, you know, punished, removed, is out of his job. Uh, I'm happy to see it. Uh, the Raiders, as you know, this past weekend, they lost to the Bears and they didn't look good at all against the Bears. That maybe um, was part of it because Gruden was allowed to coach the game. Um, and at the time, I think only one email came out where he had said something about um, an NFL uh, players union executive. But all of, you know, the entire scope of what he said and the many other emails came out after that game or, or during the weekend or after Sunday or something. And that probably forced Gruden's hand into um, uh, resigning from his position, which again, as I say, is a very good thing. We don't have a place for that in today's society. Um... Unfortunately, it's all too prevalent in our society at a lot of levels all through our society, but um, there is no place for it. Um, and I just wanted to make my stand on it known that, uh, you know, that I wouldn't condone it. I'm not like that, and I wouldn't condone it from anybody that I was friends with or associated with. Um, and it shouldn't be condoned by any company, any corporation, any corporate entity at any level. And hopefully we are moving in a direction where this type of behavior will either be corrected or the people that um, exhibit this type of behavior will be let go from their jobs and otherwise punished if not fired. So I just wanted to make that clear. Um, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. Feel free. Um, uh, if you like the video, of course, as always, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out. It doesn't cost anything. My uh, videos right now are not monetized, so there's no commercials in them. It's, you know, you're getting this stuff for free on my buck. So... Um, and I love bringing it to you guys. So, with that having been said, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.